All right, everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, we're going to be spraying our dormant oil in the wintertime. Um, and in my situation, I'm going to be using horticultural oil. This is basically a crude oil that will cover our branches and smother potential pests and actually help with diseases. Um, it is a nice way of present, preventing disease. And I'm right now spraying my grapevines with this stuff. I'm going to basically go around the yard and spray just about everything um, with this dormant oil at least once. I may do two or three or four. You can do as many applications that you want. I highly recommend that you do something like this. This comes really highly recommended by a number of very experienced backyard growers. So I would not skip this step. I'd also recommend that the reason I'm standing, I have my back to you guys, is because the wind's actually blowing this way. So when I spray, I don't want the spray to be coming towards my face, right? I don't want to be breathing it in. I don't want to be, uh, you know, getting some in my eyes as an example. Even if this is organic, even if this is something just as simple as crude oil, um, it's not pleasant, right? So maybe you should wear a mask, um, have something for your eyes. Um, I would read the labels, guys. Whatever it is that you're gonna be spraying, the amounts that you're gonna use, the application um, that you should do, how to use the product, what it does, um, all that is in the product description. I'm not um, making this video to talk about all the things that dormant oil or horticultural oil does. Um, I'm here to recommend that you guys do it and see that I'm doing it um, as I do every year. I didn't do it last year and I did notice an increase in pests, particularly aphids. And uh, one pest I really struggle with all the time is scale. So this is really good for scale and smothering all these different things that might be overwintering here. You know, you never really know how much effect this is really gonna have, which is a bit unfortunate. You know, it's one of those things that you kind of just won't know until you try it. Um, but as a good hole, it's just a great thing to do for your fruit trees and your fruiting plants. Highly recommend it. Um, so that's kind of the video here, guys. I'm really going around. I did all the apples right here. Um, do it on a still day, guys. If you have more questions about this product or any of these products, where to get them, um, you know, I would look on Amazon, I would look on um, your local nursery, uh, maybe Greenhouse Megastore has some things like that, or AM Leo. Um, I'm sure you guys can find this stuff really cheap. I use the Monterey brand of horticultural oil. Um, definitely go with something organic, guys. Um, and then get yourself a sprayer. It's pretty cheap, they're easy to use. You know, you basically pump this thing and it creates pressure and you got yourself a nozzle here that has spray, um, different types of sprays. You can do a stream, you know, a nice fan like I'm doing here, etc. cetera. Um, you can even have this thing continuously spray so that you don't have to hold this, this button down here. Um, or you can get yourself a larger one. This is a two gallon, I think, or maybe a one gallon sprayer. Um, you can have one on your backpack as a backpack and you can kind of just walk around the yard like that and just spray it and it's a lot easier to use. Um, so depending on your guys' needs, you know, you may want to upgrade, you may not. But uh, yeah, highly recommend that you guys invest in one of these, at least one of these sprays. Get it done now because we are entering the growing season now. I have strawberries growing. We have the garlic right there. The the carrots, we have flower bulbs coming up. So we're, we're kind of running out of time, even though the horticultural oil can be applied any time of the year. Um, I just really like to do this stuff now when everything is dormant. It's a huge bonus. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys will invest in some dormant oil of some kind, spend some time. It really does make a big difference. And we will talk to everybody soon, all right? Um, Thanks for watching this one. If you if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and subs subscribe. You know, um, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and figboss.com. We'll talk to you guys later. See you for tomorrow's video.